These are the best LGA1155 CPUs in 2021. Welcome to PC Guide. Number 3. i7-3770K If you're determined not to fall behind in gaming or general computational contexts, the Intel i7-3770K is hands down your best option. Featuring 4 hyper-threaded cores with 8 threads in total, multitasking is no problem. You'll even be able to run pretty advanced video editing and 3D rendering software without any hiccups. And as a video editor who personally had an i7-3770K in their computer for the past few years, I can personally attest to that. While you're stuck with a maximum of 4 cores no matter which LGA1155 CPU you settle on, the i7-3770K features the cream of the 2nd and 3rd gen core crop. Not only do they provide faster per-core performance than most other LGA1155 CPUs, they also feature hyper-threading, offering huge potential for multitasking. If you appreciate that versatility in a PC, then the i7-3770K won't disappoint. Number 2. i7-3770 a second LGA1155 champion is the i7-3770, which is virtually the same as her top pick, but it can be snatched up for noticeably less money. While we're talking almost a third of the price as the K-series chip, that probably sends your spidey senses tingling, alerting you that something's not quite right. And while it's shrewd to be wary, honestly, it's just a fantastic value-for-money chip. That's not to say there aren't some minor differences, they are just majorly disproportionate to the huge amount of money you could save. All you're missing out on when you drop that K suffix is 1GHz of base clock speed, leaving you with 3.4GHz. Yet parity remains intact in terms of boosted rate, maxing out at 3.9GHz. The only other difference between this and the K-series chip is that you don't get quite as much thermal headroom for overclocking, but you should still be able to push this thing to 4.3GHz if you so choose. And number 1. i5-3570 some gamers may be put off by the fact it's a single-thread quad-core GPU, but therein lies this chip's biggest strength. The single-threaded cores excel during focused tasks, giving this chip a similar gaming performance as her top two chips. The price you pay is a reduced capacity for shouldering parallel workflows, but if all you're after is a standalone gaming CPU, the i7-3750 is everything you'll need to play modern games and is a very, very cost-effective option. Sharing the same 3.4GHz base clock speed as the i7-3770, it only drops 1GHz from our top two picks, 3.9GHz maximum boosted rates. These epic clock speeds are another reason why this chip doesn't lag behind its more expensive CPU cousins. What this chip is lacking is its ability to deal with threaded workloads, so if you often challenge your CPU with simultaneous applications and demanding programs, it's probably not the chip for you. If you have any questions or recommendations, please drop those in the comments, and if this video helped you, remember to hit like and subscribe so maybe I can help you again sometime soon. And thanks for watching PC Guide.